Our top shot subject is at the moment in Switzerland or what we want to push. So we have two subjects either. Uh, the first one is we want to figure out how we get the good people or the good skiers into ski school. The second one is um, I'll give you an example how we teach, uh, how we would teach good teachers, uh, good uh, people in our ski school. We want to get this market, these good people, the good skiers back in ski school so we did a few things already so we um, made um, movies um, with famous people from Switzerland good skiers and, and we showed that on the television and prime time we are selling now these products so these special courses so like um, carving let's get your carving better or improve your technique or um, explore off piece it's edge to the other edge huh? in the initiation part as quickly as possible because we want the resistance from the ski as quickly as possible huh? if I move that with my hip it's quite slow huh? if I roll over my feet it's much quicker huh? okay so now we're gonna just practice down here um, try to roll over our feet and always having the pressure on the turn, having the pressure on the on the outside ski, on the big toe. Huh? Inside ski, little toe. And then on the initiation part, into the next turn, we change the edge, rolling over to over the feet to the big toe, and here to the little toe. And we say, okay, we're using the the back of the ski. What do we have to do to use the front speed of the ski? We have to move the whole center of gravity slightly forward, yeah. right? Okay, so that's, that takes time. Huh? We can make that shorter. And we'll do an exercise now for that. So the inside ski is slightly back, the outside ski is forward, huh? that's telemark. So yeah. we're not gonna do this big movement, otherwise we can't ski anymore. Huh? We fall over because the inside ski will grip and up. Huh? Yeah. But just imagine in your feet, do this little movement in your feet. From outside I shouldn't be able to see it at all. Huh? Just stay parallel but try with the outside ski to get um, the pressure in the front of the ski uh, as the turn goes on you roll back and use the tail, right? The inside ski, it's like telemark, we do the opposite. Huh? We do the opposite because then, when we finish the turn, I pull that back a bit, that one like forward, and then um, also I'm changing the weight and changing edge. My weight is already forward. I don't have to do anything with my center of gravity. Either we are more free to do the angulation. Huh? Okay, then um, in the initiation part, what we talk about 
if we like um, functional movements is um, always like one leg is bending and the other one is stretching huh? so that's how we move the center of gravity from one side to the other and that, that does something to our ski they will etch more huh? but the same thing we can do we relax this leg but uh, we don't relax that one we tie that one so that means the ski gets flat we can turn we can relax this and then next turn we relax the other one so it's a lot of separate uh, movement with our legs we want to go up a little bit but not too much huh? only up to our ten, um, basic position so our joints are always bent huh? we never stretch higher than this the center of gravity has to be away from the ski to get the movement free to go down and continuously etching all around the turn even more and more and more etching until the turn is finished uh, because the pressure gets always stronger and stronger as we go away from the fall line so I need some reserve movement to finish the turn uh, and if I would angle if I would lean straight in and angle and then finish the turn I uh, can't do anything I just wait until the turn is finished and then I'll speed up and go faster and faster uh, but if I have the patience in the beginning of the turn and lean and then start to angle the ski will edge and edge and edge more and more until the turn is finished and so I can control the speed much easier when it's deep Hi, I'm here with Nadine Grunfelder, uh, a member of the Swiss uh, snow sports demo team. What's your role within the Swiss team? Um, well, it changes. Um, for the Interski, my, my work was to prepare the shows, yep. so the demo shows. Um, yeah, so I, we brought the ideas together and, and wrote it down and uh, yeah, I hope you will like it when you see it. <laughs> I'm sure we will. We've heard, heard nothing but great things about the, the Swiss shows. Have you been to more than one Interski? It's my second. Second. Do you think that Interski has changed at all from your last one to this one? Well, I, I just, in, in Argentina, my last one, um, the time on snow with the other teams, like the workshops, they were very short. Hmm. And um, so I really appreciate that we have like two sessions, the morning and the afternoon, where we can go and have a look and exchange things. So that's a big change. Okay, beautiful. Um, would, uh, would you please explain to us how the Swiss team is selected, how you pick your the final number of members? We have like the whole education pool in Switzerland has 35 skiers. So um, we all, yeah, we're all examiners and and then every four years so after interski what means like this spring we will have another um so how do you call it uh, another tryout yeah or? exactly yeah. the triad um so the whole 35 hmm. um are meant to go there yep. and then 10 the 10 best go and does your tryout happen after each interski and then you're a team for the whole four years leading up? Exactly. So okay. we have time to prepare, yeah. time to get to know each other. Time to find the rhythm in, in the skiing. Exactly. Perfect. One last question. What is the role of the demo team within Switzerland? Um, it's actually quite nice. We get to do a lot. So it's not just the skiing or the demonstrating. It's we um, write the manuals oh, wow. and uh, as I said we examine and uh, yeah we it's just very interesting. It's like a, a separate page of yeah. Awesome, thank you very much Nadine. Thank you.